wanted to do a quick video on the uh, using nootropics to help induce lucid dreams. But first of all, I like to start all my videos with a quick explanation of what lucid dreaming is. Lucid dreaming is when you're asleep and you're having a dream. And during that dream, you come to realize, aha, this is a dream. I'm inside of a dream right now. And so once the occurrence of lucidity has happened, of course it becomes possible to have uh, any number of experiences, right? Like you can fly, explore the universe, communicate with your subconscious mind. You can do all of those things. So that's what lucid dreaming is. Now there's this somewhat uh, controversial and uh, debated point of lucid dreaming I wanted to bring up which is using supplements and using uh, nootropics to help with inducing lucidity. Uh, there's overwhelming anecdotal evidence on the forums and different websites and YouTube videos that you can use supplements uh, to help with achieving lucid dreams. Uh, particularly galantamine is one, uh, one thing that's really uh, helpful for, for that, uh, as well as choline. And there's a great book by a guy named uh, Thomas Juszczyk. I think I've got it right here. It's called, uh, here it is, uh, Advanced Lucid Dreaming, The Power of Supplements. And this guy goes over all of the, the, the supplements that he uses to induce lucid dreaming. This is a great book. Uh, but a lot, of, a lot of lucid dreamers out there think that uh, you shouldn't use lucid, that you should not use supplements and nootropics to help induce lucidity. Uh, because it, per, it, it perhaps presents the risk of uh, becoming dependent and you want to cultivate the ability to become lucid as a skill without relying on a crutch or an aid. And I think that those are all very valid and very legitimate points. Uh, however, the, there's a couple of, of sort of counter arguments that I want to make. Uh, and sort of the first one is that if, if you're just starting out with lucid dreaming and you really want to you really want to have that first lucid dream I think that using supplements is a great way to have your first lucid dreams uh, quicker and faster and in that sense it, you can sort of uh, cut down on the amount of, of uh, initial sort of challenge and failure in the beginning phases of, of learning this skill because it is very frustrating. Learning uh, lucid dreaming and developing a lucidity practice take, take real work. It took me about four weeks just to have my first lucid dream. So for most people this is not something that comes naturally. It's something that uh, requires continuous effort and continuous dedication and you know failing over and over and over again and, and getting you know it, it's, it's frustrating. So if, if we can sort of take supplements in the beginning to help us get sort of kick-started with having those first few lucid dreams, I say go for it. I think that that's, uh, that's, that's wonderful. So if you can save yourself, you know, four weeks of, you know, being disappointed over and over again by, you know, popping some galantamine, uh, you know, at three o'clock in the morning and becoming lucid, I say go for it. I think that it, it and in that sense, um, it, it can be used as a stepping stone during the beginning phases of, of cultivating a lucidity practice to getting lucid and to you know learning what it feels like to be lucid and, and learning about the sort of transition from waking consciousness into the dream state and what that process is like and what that feels like. Uh, so I think that supplements can be very, very useful um, in that regard. So in, in addition to those things, there's also sort of this uh, kind of a, a scientific aspect to supplements as well that I wanted to, to touch on in terms of uh, mood and behavior and, and sort of uh, cognitive modification. You know, look, uh, there's, there's this overwhelming body of, of anecdotal evidence online as well as, uh, you know, a lot of um, scientific studies that have been published as well showing that uh, these new tropics, you know, things like galantamine or choline, or there's another great new supplement, uh, I believe it's called Alpha Brain, that have a, a very powerful and a very visceral impact on cognitive functioning. And when I say cognitive functioning, I'm talking about things like uh, memory, I'm talking about learning, uh, but I'm also talking about mood and happiness and, 
you know, feelings, feelings of, of joy and, and uh, prosperity. And so using these nootropic supplements uh, has, has sort of been proven anecdotally and scientifically to help with all of those things. And I personally believe that one of the primary purposes of, of science is to help improve the human condition and to make us healthier. And so to, to say you shouldn't use nootropics to improve your mood or your memory or, or for lucid dreaming, you should just learn how to do that stuff on your own so that there's skills. And if you want to improve your mood, you should go to the gym and, and eat healthier. And all of that is absolutely true. All of those are, are absolutely true. And I agree 100% with those. But I would add that if you can take you know, a, a nootropic supplement that's completely organic, doesn't have anything in it that's harmful for you, in fact, most of the stuff that they put in, in um, alpha brain and, and galantamine and choline, unless you're taking excessive amounts of this stuff, uh, a, lot of it, you know, a lot of this stuff is actually healthy for you. It's good for you. And so in that sense, it can add a, a new dimension to, to your health. Um, for example, take myself. I started using um, this supplement called Alpha Brain uh, about a year ago, and I've noticed a tremendous difference in my everyday mood, in my, in my uh, cognitive functioning, my memory. I feel sharper, I feel clearer, I feel more motivated and less lethargic, right? So there are all of these benefits to, to taking nootropics that I think are, are really important to acknowledge and to, to be aware of. And as far as lucid dreaming goes, uh, you know, yes, that, that's a very valid point that you want to develop it as a skill. Uh, however, when you're first getting started, I think that using it as a, as a, using nootropics as a stepping stone is perfectly acceptable to sort of, for developing familiarity with the lucid dream world. And even later on in, in our journeys of lucid dreaming, um, I don't think that there's anything wrong with taking choline or galantamine or, or alpha brain for have, to, to have a lucid dream. I think that that's, that's perfectly fine um, and that you know, that's, that's something that uh, deserves to be sort of accepted and acknowledged as being valid. But at the same time, we also need to acknowledge that uh, it, it is important not to rely on those things if you're a serious lucid dreamer and you really want to cultivate a lucidity practice that's strong enough to stand alone without the use of supplements. Uh, but if you're, if you're the kind of person who, you know, hey, just want to have a lucid dream maybe a couple times every month, then yeah, I think supplements are, are fine, are perfect for you. Uh, okay. So that's it for this video. Hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.